Welcome back, everybody, to Adventure Through Art. Today, we will be talking about something a bit different than we usually talk about. <laughs> so, today, we'll be talking about my book. And no, this book right here is not mine. Well, I mean, I'm borrowing it from the library, so it's just partly mine. <laughs> Uh, but if you want to read this, if you're into reading, it's called Warrior Cats. It's very similar to Wings of Fire, if you've ever heard of that, which it's pretty popular. So, yeah, if you're in the book community, then you'd probably know what it is. Or maybe you already do. So, yeah. Wings of Fire in Warrior Cats are probably my favorite series. With all this reading, it has really encouraged me to write my own book, and although I would love to write a book about regular animals, I did one about dragons, kind of like Wings of Fire, but trust me, it is not associated with Wings of Fire. But Wings of Fire has really helped me through my journey of writing stories and books. Because I have always been into writing. I love English. I don't know why. I just do. <laughs> yes, I love writing. And I am actually on the second book of this book we are going to be talking about today. And it is called The Lost Story of a Dragon. So right away, you can probably tell that it's about a dragon or dragons and I even have this old 2023 story outline which was what it was called before I officially got a title for it and I just wanted to go through here to see what my exact outline was and how different it turned in the actual book and don't don't think this is the the whole entire book I just printed this out so we have a reference and stuff this is only the first part with two chapters so this is only two chapters i have 17 chapters in my first book so yeah this is definitely not the whole thing but i'd like to get into the 2023 story outline and just discuss all my ideas that i had and kind of just help help you guys out with knowing a bit more about me and my book my stories i write so many and i never seem to finish them but finally when 2023 started i got out of the computer which is uh right right here and i started writing i did not have any type of story outline i just started writing the first chapter i just put chapter one and i started writing i did not know what it was going to be about but since i was reading wings of fire at that time that was a big influence to my books and it helped me so much with reading and the more you read the more you learn i love reading and of course that isn't for everybody but that's for me let's get into it Okay, let's discuss the 2023 story outline. So, uh, well, I need a pencil or a marker, or a red marker would be good. Okay, the only red I could find is this magenta red and, or magenta purple. I don't know, is that close enough? No, it is not. Maybe this? No, that's pink. You know what, we're just, we're just gonna stay with this color, whatever color this exactly is. So yeah, I can mark it all up. Let's start. 2023 story outline. Okay, so I put little bullet points around here to kind of outline it. See how different it, how it actually turned out. So it begins in Python Stronghold with Commander Quicksand scurrying down the halls into battle. Okay, so first thing, Python. Python is a queen in this... Wait, okay, first, this marker isn't working. I'm sorry, nothing is going right today. Python. Python actually turned into poison somehow. I don't know how, but 
python slash poison is a queen. So it's really queen poison, poison stronghold. So yeah, I don't, I'll just cross that out. I don't know how it turned into poison, but along the way it somehow did. And surprisingly, I actually love python. I don't know why I switched to poison. I just, I just did. That's pretty accurate to the story. So I'll give that little check mark. I don't know why that little thing is there. Must have been something in the printer. I don't know. Okay, number two. He rushes into battle and fends off Cacti Towns. Yes, so Cacti Towns actually turns into Cacti Claws, all one word. And as a talent Dragonette, Dragonette is completely banished from my story. And instead, it turns into Hatchling. And as a talent Hatchling is found in the battle. So Quicksand grabs her and drags her into the sand dunes where she's safe. Yes, that is the same. Pretty much the whole first part of the story in this outline I followed. Cacti Claws and Acid Talons, those are both clans. Just different types of dragons, really. Kind of just how different types of people. So yeah, let's go on the, to the fourth one. Sandstorm comes and the two get lost. Yes, he tries to get back to his soldiers but can't seem to find them. Yep. So he carries a dragonette and takes flight into the storm, determined to find a stronghold. Yep. He flies for hours with no luck and starts questioning his decisions. The hatchling starts to whine over food. So when they spot an oasis, they land. Yes, that is the same. And of course, this is just a very rough outline. Not even that all the grammar and stuff is correct. Quicksand is not familiar with hatchlings, so he gets annoyed. Yes, he gets very annoyed. He's this big, large, scary commander dragon of an army. And now he has to protect this hatchling? He doesn't know what to do. He's not a father. He, he, he doesn't know. He gets really annoyed when the, dra the, when the hatchling starts thinking, Oh, Susanna in the middle of a bird fight. Yeah. They make camp for the night. The hatchling said she was scared, sleeping on her own, so after a lot of asking, she got to sleep under Quicksand's wing. Yes, I kept this too because it was so wholesome. He has weird dreams at night about what seemed to be the future, about how the whole world would collapse under a single dragon. So, you may be thinking, well, these weird dreams right now seem pretty much like a vision, but no, that's not the case. It kind of like his inner self contacting him about the right thing to do so the whole uh how the world would collapse under a single dragon is somehow cut out of the story in the morning quicksand is determined to leave the hatchling due to he doesn't know how to take care of one and assumes he'll hurt her more than he'll help yes he basically abandons the hatchling i know terrible right but just just keep with me here so he soars off before she wakes up but is forced to turn back when he gets attacked by Stone Talons. Stone Talons actually turns into Stone Beasts. When he returns to the oasis, he finds a dragonette crying in their camp spot and rushes to hug. And she rushes to hug him when she sees Quicksand return. Yes. He lies and tells her he was looking for food and didn't mean to frighten her. So she would calm down. After a few days spending their time at the oasis, Quicksand finds himself loving the dragonette like a father but tries not to show it, for he learned not to show emotions or weakness to anyone back of the stronghold. Yes, he, in the start, he was very, it was tough for him to show emotions, like normal, regular dragons, at least most normal dragons. So yeah, he's just all adapt to this big stronghold and that he can't show any emotion. He's this big commander. He can't, you know? But then he, when he meets this dragonette, everything kind of changes. The two take off at sunrise two days later, heading north to find home. But it is an endless sea of sand. Yep. And, okay, so I know this is kind of random, but today is Halloween. And although I don't do Halloween anymore, in, it snowed today. The first snow of this year, I guess. All right. I forgot to mention that the dragonette's name is Firefly. Yeah, Hatchling again. I I didn't know I'd put Hatchling yet. I just put Dragonette. 
So, her name is Firefly after some events happened with Quicksand and the Hatchling, and he named her Firefly finally. But before, he was like, no, I gotta get this Dragonette, I mean Hatchling, sorry, I keep getting these two confused, back to her parents. And that should be the parents' job to name Firefly. Yeah. But it doesn't really turn out in the end. Okay, Firefly and Quicksand soon come upon, a, upon the jungle. In our surprise, when Cypress Talons attack, and Cypress Talons actually turns into Feather Wings. Yeah, totally different, but Feather Wings it is. They shot poison darts at the two, and one finally hit Quicksand as he was trying to protect Firefly. No. Okay, so I'm just going to stop it right there. This changes drastically. I don't know how it changed, but it, it did. Okay, guys, we got the lost story of a dragon. The main character is Quicksand. We got Spanish over here. Amigo, hola, hermana, mamita, pancho, loco. And then we got all the definitions right there. And then we have French, which is bonjour and acheté. And acheté is to buy. I used to be learning French and Spanish, but that was just too much. So now I am totally on Spanish and no longer doing French. But since I put Spanish and French in the book, that was when I was doing both languages for school. So let's move this to the side. Right here, you immediately see eight clans. Yes. So eight clans is pretty much eight groups of dragons. And I give you a pretty exact a definition of what they look like but that isn't enough because you can't just imagine all of this and so when I get better at digital art I am going to draw each of each of the eight clans so we have cactus claws we have acid talon and then we have stone beast which in parentheses is a drake and you may be wondering what is a drake well, you could look it up, or I can tell you right now. So, a drake is still a type of dragon. So, it has no wings, though, as I already said right here. It has no wings, but it still has four limbs. And when I put dragon, like on the season petals right here, which is a type of dragon, I put dragon in parentheses. And the main dragon that you would... If someone said dragon, what would you think of? Well, probably a four-legged, two-winged creature, mythical tree creature, that breathes fire and is scaly. Now, my dragons aren't exactly like that, but the four legs and two wings are for more, most of them. But some of them aren't exactly scaly. Some of them look more like a deer than a dragon. So we have a prologue. That's pretty, pretty simple. So in chapter one, everything above this, which is all of these papers, including the prologue, was done after, pretty much in the end. I didn't even do the prologue first. It actually happened at the end. So, it took some time to think about what I wanted to name the book, which is obviously a huge part of the book. And yeah, so chapter one in Untold Story of Dragons. I kind of just started. And when I mean started, I mean started with no, no plan of ending or n and no plan of finishing. So, yeah. So it's pretty straight on from there. I got a lot of my ideas and inspiration from reading others people, other people's books, of course. And if you want to be a writer, I would recommend reading because who, what writer doesn't like reading? They're literally making a book for people to read, and they're gonna have to read that book to edit it and add details adverbs and adjectives and spice up their sentences sentences and chapters entire book yeah so who doesn't like reading when they're an author and i don't i don't know how you are technically uh 
an author? Do you have to do something to be an author? Or is it just, I just wrote a two, two cent, two paragraph story. Oh my goodness, I'm an author. Is that how, is that how it works or do you have to publish a book? You know what? I don't know because I, I, I don't know. Makes sense, right? So yeah, I got a lot of my ideas from Wings of Fire and Warrior Cats, which I am just reading now, which really helps me with my new book that I am reading, which is pretty much titled For Now, 2023 Story 2. So thank you guys for watching. I know this is kind of a longer video, but it's mostly just for people that really want to know what I do a bit more and also to help you guys out if any of you are trying to be an author or write or do any of this. So, I mean, I could give you a little tips. I could go through that for a whole nother video, but I don't really want to now. But I am just going to do a little a little bit. So, when I am writing my book, I would definitely recommend getting an outline. Taking the time to write one, even as sloppy as this, it doesn't even have to be two pages. Mine is a little bit over a page and a half. And that really helped me with my story because if I just pick up my computer or pencil and start writing, I don't know. I need a time to brainstorm. You just need time to sit down and write out ideas. And once you have an outline, I think it's good to get to know your characters if that's what the story is about. Mine is pretty much an adventure book all about how this this dragon, Quicksand, is trying to find him real, his real self and Firefly, the little hatchling, really helps him do that. I don't have that many tips because I am not a pro writer and I just started writing one day and of course this may look pretty professional but you'd have to read it to think what you think <laughs> but maybe maybe one day I will publish a book if I really follow that which I am following that right now I am following art video editing or video making whichever one you want to call it and writing so pretty much all of that is art to me just different types of art and nature is also a big part in that so thank you for watching and i might do some more tips on this and techniques but that's all for today bye